Well, um, hello again. Uh, it's nice to be back with you. Um, no, I'm not in my workshop, although we will be going there um, in a little while to show you a couple of the things I'm, I'm actually looking at and working on. Nothing very exciting, I'm afraid. But this video is really just my uh, end of year video to say thank you to all my subscribers and um, all those people that watch my channel and hopefully uh, all those people who have got some use from the things I fixed or learnt a little bit and those who have just enjoyed watching some of the other activities I get up to. Um, later on today I'm going to be doing some baking so maybe include a little bit of that um, and uh, I'll be showing you just a few things that I might be looking at. Right, now, um, it's not been a very uh, eventful end of year for um, repairing uh, technical equipment or mending things. Um, in fact, it's been very slack, um, but hopefully that will change in the new year. Let's be positive. There's so much negativity about it, isn't there, at the moment, but let's be positive. Um, I would like to uh, start doing some... Um, so, some bigger repairs or, or different projects, um, but uh, we'll see what happens. Well, it's a very quiet day in Royal Victoria Park, Bath. Just a few people about walking their dogs or just walking themselves. Um, but it's an ideal opportunity for me to get some fresh air before returning to the workshop and uh, show you some of the things that I've been looking at. And I'm back from the chilly park now, back in my workshop. And I said I'd share a couple of things that were actually on my bench. I'm not going to repair them today. I just wanted to show them to you out of interest. Um, I've recently, uh, my, my um, grandson was turning out some, some stuff at their house and uh, he found this wonderful item and it's the um, Mario Brothers Game Watch Multi-Screen by Nintendo and not only did he find it but the original receipt was bought, found with it and I'll show you a close-up of that in a minute um, but it was bought in Plymouth from an Argus store in Plymouth in uh, 28th of the 8th 1986 and it's pristine it's almost in immaculate condition all the little um, instruction leaflets are with it um, the receipt is with it um, uh, and the how to play is with it and it's just a wonderful machine and if you open it there you can see it um, now it's not working, um, I've had a, a quick look and th there was some corrosion around the battery ports so I'm going to have to open it um, and have a look inside. Tried new batteries and they don't work. Um, but as I say that's something to look at slow time and uh, it'd be wonderful if we could get it working again. The second small item that needs uh, a little bit of attention is this Sony Walkman cassette player. Um, it was top of the range at the time. It's a WM-EX49. And this one uh, just doesn't, well, it, it doesn't work, uh, basically. Um, it has uh, a problem um, with the uh, uh, winds, and it uh, I can't get any audio on it at the moment. So I, I'm going to open it up, but again, not going to attempt to repair it on it in this video. But we'll have a, a quick look inside and, and see what we've got. Obviously the belt is one of the issues. So um, temptation got the better of me and I did do some initial work on this having opened it up. It takes a bit of effort to open these things. You have to be so careful with them and the screws are so tiny. But having opened it um, I found that the original belt uh, had come off. So ordered a, a new belt which came in a couple of days and um, then fitted the belt. Um, initially the motor started to run um, not very well because it was extremely noisy and then suddenly the motor stopped and I lost all um, 
audio from the thing so uh, obviously going to take a little bit more investigation and, and again it's something I'm not going to do on this video but it's a job that can be looked at a little bit in the future um, it's a lovely machine and I just hope um, we can get somewhere with uh, finding out exactly what's wrong with it and then suddenly, towards the end of the year, just as you think your bench is going to remain empty, you get a call to say, I've got some audio equipment that I'm going to bin. Are you interested in it? So obviously I rushed over and picked it up to be amazed by this piece of kit. Um, it's a JVC music system. And this, would you believe, is when it's in its standby mode, flashing away and doing all sorts of stuff. Um, indicating uh, the, 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 the three CD players that are available, um, showing all the various things it can do, the presets, the AM, the FM, the turntable, and uh, the subwoofer. And that's a thing uh, to behold in itself. Let me zoom back a little bit and uh, just have a look at that. Um, there we go. So there it is. And you've got the subwoofer, um, which... Uh, um, is a beast unto itself and uh, that has a separate um, woofer volume control um, on, on the uh, on the unit itself and you can see the size of this stuff um, and that is not including the two big speakers that come with it and uh, so there we go now I plugged it in and I did turn it on and it is all working wonderfully so um, let me just turn it on now and uh, give you a little demo of what actually happens um, when you turn this equipment on. So let's uh, turn it on. It's out of standby now. The amazing panel rotates at the front. It's selected a CD. Um, there are three CD uh, decks in them, all of them work. Um, I'm just going to press um, play on the first CD. Unfortunately, at this stage, um, I have to mute the sound. Um, I did upload this video about 20 minutes ago, but it fell foul of YouTube's copyright pro uh, uh, restrictions, um, even though it was just a short snatch. I uh, probably should have known better. Anyway, um, it does work and it works beautifully on all three CDs and I'm just sorry that I couldn't give you an example. But there we go, um, it does work. Um, and uh, it needs um, a good clean up. Let's stop it and eject it. Um, but it does need a good clean up. Lovely decks on it. Um, and they all, they all operate smoothly. So very good and uh, um, a small record deck as well. So there we go. That's what happened. That's what turned up on my bench um, and uh, uh, I will be obviously looking at that as well and cleaning it up. What I'm going to do with it I have no idea. Well that's about it for this uh, this video, last one of the year. Um, it's gone from virtually nothing, uh, when my benches were empty, nothing much to do, um, to the small items that I showed you just now, um, to a little bit of baking, uh, I love making my bread and, and, and bits and pieces, um, to a situation where um, my bench is full of this monster. Um, <laughs> I'm not complaining, um, it is working. Uh, which is a bit of a disappointment because I like fixing this stuff, but it does need a good clean up and a good test. So um, that's what I'll be doing. Um, not going to do any more now. I'm going to say goodbye. Hope you have a, a, a peaceful Christmas and I hope your new year is, um, is successful and again peaceful. Um, again, thank you for watching and uh, look forward to being back with you in the new year. Thank you, and as always, take care.